My friends, we have come together into the house of the church, set in the presence of the church's minister in the community. Your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. From them, this is a moment of unique importance, so let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayers. Then with the Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father through Christ our Lord for this couple, his servants, that he love them, accept them, bless them, and make them always one. When we were younger, we were sons and daughters coming out of the water, holding everything. Now we're older, Making sense of the moment Standing out in the open To find the light again Erica, I love you. <laughs> you came into my life when I wasn't looking for love. But I have had love for you ever since that day. And I promise to love you for the rest of my days. I promise to remain loyal and faithful to you as I pledge to keep this love strong when life is easy and especially when we get tired. David, it's always been clear to me that God created us for one another. He gave me a partner who views me as his equal, holds patience with me, keeps me grounded, and who brings so much joy into every day we spend together. I love you for exactly who you are today and promise to love you for who you will become throughout our lives together. I feel so lucky to know that the love I chose is unwavering and genuine. I promise I'll be by your side for all the excitement we have upcoming in our lives. I'll be the first one by your side when you need my support and things get tough. I promise to encourage you and to inspire you so we can get the most out of our love and the most out of our lives. I promise to treat you as my equal and ensure we work together to achieve our common goals in all aspects of our lives. Most importantly, I promise to be your eternal life partner as you make my life the greatest, and I can't wait to grow old, <laughs> grow old and gray with you. Love me. <laughs> You are the partner I always imagined meeting me at the end of the aisle, and my decision to spend my life with you is one of the best I will make. So today, as your wife, I am promising you a future where you will never be alone, you will always feel my love, and we will grow together. I promise to stand with you through love and through loss, to support your dreams and ambitions, to make our family a priority, to always live in truth with you, to do my best to make you belt out your contagious laugh, and to love you unconditionally. You are my one and only today and all the days of my life.
now you're here present with the, with the joy in your heart and, and with the firm commitment that you're going to commit to one another. You're going to make a covenant relationship, not a, a contract, but a covenant relationship that, that has no ifs or ors or buts. It's going to be, we're here, you know, Erica and David to say to, you, to each other, I love you unconditionally. I have not only been honored and blessed to have a daughter like you, but also the opportunity to watch you grow up into the amazing and beautiful young woman you are today. You are caring, giving, and loving. It's amazing to have you as a daughter. David, you're a fun, loving, kind-hearted, and loyal young man. You'll do anything to make Erica happy. Obviously, she's very happy. So I started to understand, wow, not this, I understand why Erica's feeling this way. She feels this way and it's very valid. He's a great guy. So I am proud to welcome you into our family, David, and I'm proud to call you a son-in-law. All the lights playing games On all the counters and window panes Sun is bright, it's a new day and I feel brand new. All the winter is gone, seems it's been here so long, I want to feel like I Everybody, I'm Nicole. I'm Erica's older sister. Erica has always been there for me, and I'm glad I get to be here for her on her special day. Over the last few years, I've gotten to know David, and I've gotten to be a part of watching them grow as a couple. I'm so happy Erica found someone so caring and someone who treats her so well. For those of you who are unaware, I'm David's little brother. I'm co-best man with uh, Chris. He's over here on the end. Now into the, the bride, Erica. We've shared a lot of good memories. Uh, although most of the times you come over, it's typically for a sporting event that you could care less about. She sits there on her phone, and we're trying to keep her engaged, but you can tell it's the sports game on. We're just watching. David will accuse David, uh, Erica and Chris of colluding against them in casual board games. Again, this is a self-proclaimed issue with David. There's a lot of love in this place today. For folks to show up on a Friday afternoon to basically fill this chapel. Your presence here to get today gives a very real, concrete sign to this wonderful couple that you're here with them and for them, not only the wedding day, but for their marriage. So just as their love should not waver for one another, don't let your love for this wonderful couple waver as well.
So this wedding isn't about me, so I'll keep it short and sweet, just like David's athletic career. <laughs> He's one of the most competitive people that I've ever met. Fantasy football, he self-proclaimed, named himself Perfect David. Just like the 2007 New England Patriots, he's failed to go perfect. <laughs> Sorry, John, back there. Yeah. have a beautiful, huge smile on your face every single day, just like what you have today. But the day you met David, something changed. That big smile on your face got a little bigger. I didn't even think that was possible. Your eyes got even brighter. I thought again, not possible. So I said, something must be special about this guy. And as a hover mom, I'm gonna find out. It's been great growing up with two older brothers. We shared in a lot of great experiences. I'm sure my mom and dad are not happy about this, but playing basketball in the basement, coming down to see I push David through the drywall, or to come downstairs to see a ping pong paddle hanging out of the drywall aren't things they look forward to. But on all serious, we've shared in a lot of great memories, none that I'd want to take back. Lord, we thank you for Eric and David. They are a gift and a blessing from you, and they have filled our lives with joy and love. Bless their dreams and visions, and keep them healthy and safe, as love never fails. You know, Eric and David are, are going to be have to be the total definition of love. 
so together, as you come together in front of family and friends, you're going to have to, to bear all things together. And no matter what, the Erica and David is never going to fail. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Erica, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. David, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I just want to send off a good toast to everybody here, uh, including David and Erica especially, for a long and happy marriage. All of their life going forward is going to be great. And let's have a toast to that. You guys complement each other perfectly, and I can't wait to be a part of your lives together. I love you guys so much. So please join me in a toast for Erica and David, wishing them a wonderful, long, happy life together on their journey. I love you both very much. I just want to thank once again everyone for coming here and enjoying the night and just let's raise a toast to a, uh, a celebration and always remembering the September 17th. So thanks all. I, David, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I, Erica, take you, David, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. And in sickness and in health. To love you. To honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I think it's more appropriate to now, instead of waiting to the end of the ceremony, to introduce to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Erica and David White. Let's congratulate them. <laughs>
Lastly, my bride, I didn't write anything down for this because I know I can, I can workshop this one pretty easily. <laughs> Just look at me and look at her. See who, see who won. 